The drafting palette generates 2D representations of 3D entities. This allows you to easily create details of 3D parts. For this example, we are going to create standard views of this brace and insert them into paper space. First, I will select the brace. Then in the drafting palette, I will change the coordinate system used to world coordinate system. I do this because the part was rotated at some point and I want the front view I create in the drafting palette to be correct. Now I will choose Edit Style Properties near the bottom of the drafting palette. This will bring up the Properties dialog. I would like the hidden lines to be invisible, not dashed, so under Pen Hidden, I will choose the invisible line pattern. Under Format, I will change the scale. This part is much smaller than the sheet I am placing it on, so well, I'll give it a scale of 2. Now I will choose Front View in the drafting palette. Notice how the preview appears? Next, I will save this view by clicking the plus icon near the top of the drafting palette. I will now repeat the process for left, top, and southwest isometric views. With all my views saved in the drafting palette, I will switch over to paper space. As you can see, I have already created four rectangles. I will place the views I have created at the center of each rectangle using center of extent snap. First, I select the view I wish to insert into the drawing. I then click the Insert into Drawing icon at the top of the drafting palette. I then repeat the process for the remaining views. The front view seems a little small. Luckily, I can easily change the scale in the Selection Info palette. Dimensions added to drafting palette entities are associative to the original part. I will now add a radial dimension to the front view, measuring the hole near the center of the part. Notice how the dimension updates to display the correct measurement once I drop it in place? Changes made to the part's geometry will also update the dimensions. Switching back over to Model Space, I select my part, then make changes to the hole in the part tree. Back in Paper Space, the dimension now displays the updated measurement. While creating standard views is a relatively simple use case for the drafting palette, there are many more which we will elaborate on in the future.